Let's build a system. We'll use our life cycle, which means we'll begin with the design of the system, we'll develop a prototype, we'll test to make sure it works, and then we'll deploy the embedded system. So the system we're going to build is controlled by a switch and it's going to produce a sound, a hundred hertz sound, which is our sound that we want to look at. And the we will design both the software and the hardware that goes into it. And we will use cystic interrupts in the software and we will design a DAC as part of the hardware. All right, show me the DAC. So we will take a different approach to the DAC here. We've seen two designs for the DAC that are possible. One which is the weighted, a binary weighted design and that's the one you're going to use in lab. And now we'll look at a different design, which is a, called an R to R ladder design, which is the design that a lot of the chips have in them that produce sound. So how does the R to R work? So let's take a look at this R to R ladder circuit. It's as described, it's going to be a bunch of resistors that are hooked up this way which is a uh, no no they can't be don't don't talk while you're while you're raising that are hooked this way we have our three signals and we have our resistors and this is where we're gonna connect our our headphones or our speakers so why is it called an R to R ladder? So the resistors that we use will be in the ratio R to R. Oh. So there's an R here, 2R, R, 2R. This will be a 2R, and this is a 2R, oh. and this is a 2R also. Okay. And so if, let's say we picked our R to be 11 K, and that's a good choice because of the way our voltages work, and so the 2R is going to be simply a 22K. So the way we're going to connect this to our microcontroller is we have our three bits. This is bit 2, bit 1, bit 0. And we connect this to our bit 0. Mm -hmm. We connect this to our bit 1. And we connect this to our bit 2 and we connect this to the ground. So the lowest bit is furthest away from the headphones. That physically. is correct. And we'll see why that's the case once we do our computation. Now the analysis of this is, um, is done easily using the principle of superposition. Mm. So what does that mean? So let's take a look at how superposition works. 